Hey everyone! Welcome to Family Storytime. I'm Dan, and today all of our stories are about rainy days. Now we can get rainy days in the spring, summer, or fall, but especially during the springtime. And rainy days can be good for staying inside and being cozy and watching a movie or reading, maybe coloring or working on an arts and crafts project. But you can also have some fun outside in the rain if your parents let you. You can splash in a puddle or maybe play in the mud. It can get a little messy, but it can be a lot of fun too. Well, the characters in our stories today have fun both inside and outside on a rainy day. So let's check out the first book and get started. Our first book today is called Puddle. Because when it rains, there can be a lot of puddles outside. I hate rainy days, says the little boy. There's nothing to do. Nothing! I can't go to the playground. I can't play soccer. I can't ride my bike. He's very frustrated, isn't he? And his mom says, don't be so grumpy. We can have fun at home. Do you want to draw? And the little boy says, no, I don't want to. I'll never draw. Somebody's a little cranky, isn't he? So the mom says, okay, I'll draw by myself then. And she starts to draw what looks like the letter J. It's an umbrella. Ta-da! That's my blue umbrella, says the little boy. Can you draw me holding it? Looks like he might be interested in drawing now. There, says the mom. But where are you, says the little boy. I don't want to go out all alone. Okay, I'll draw me next to you, says the mom. And draw Billy too, says the little boy. That's a tricky one. And I don't like wet dog smell, says the mom. Mom, please, pleads the little boy. And there they are, the mom, the little boy, and their dog, Billy. Thanks, mom, but there's no rain. Right, says the mom. Why don't you draw the rain? Okay. I'm really good at this. Look, there's the rain coming down in the picture. Oh no, it's pouring, says the mom. I know, and it's very windy, says the little boy. Hold the umbrella really tight. Boy, it does look windy. Oh my, says the mom. What's that? It's a puddle, says the little boy. Ooh. And what are puddles good for? Maybe jumping in? No, 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 no! Shouts the mom as the little boy runs off and is about to jump into the big wet puddle. <laughs> Look at him splash. <laughs> I said not to go in there, says the mom. Now you're all wet and I am too. Mom, it's just a picture, says the little boy. Don't get mad. Oh, and now Billy the dog is shaking off all the water and getting them both wet. Don't do that, Billy. Mom, cries the little boy. <laughs> Don't get mad, says the mom. It's just a picture, you know. This is fun, says the little boy but can we go for a real walk? Why not, says the mom. We have raincoats and rain boots and umbrellas. And now they're outside walking in the rain and it's just like the picture. The little boy spots a big deep puddle. What do you think he's gonna do? Splash! The little boy and his dog jump right in. And that is the end of Puddle. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Well, now let's go check out our next story about a rainy day. It 
In our second book, The Rainy Day Isn't Happening Outside, but Actually Inside the House. How messy does that sound? It's called The Day the Rain Moved In. It's raining this morning. It rained yesterday, too. Pauline and Louis watch as the raindrops hit the floor again and again. No one feels like playing when it's this wet. It's raining in every room of the house. There's a puddle in the living room that grows a bit bigger each day. There's been no storm, no clouds. The rain has simply moved into the house and no one invited it in. There's the dad with a mop and a bucket and the little kid is wearing their raincoat and the mom has an umbrella as she reads the newspaper. That doesn't look too comfortable. The whole family searches for a leak, but they can't find a single gap, not even a tiny crack. It's raining inside the house and the water is pouring in from nowhere. Outside, the sun is shining. Pauline and Louis head down the path to school. They're wearing their raincoats and water drips down from their foreheads. In the schoolyard, they stand off to one side. They don't dare join in with the others, just in case someone finds out about their secret. Oh, that's sad. Back at home, not much has changed. It's so damp that the walls are covered with mildew. And look, a seedling has sprouted up between the floor tiles. There's nothing they can do. The puddle grows into a pond. Ferns, reeds, and water lilies open up and frogs move in. The grumpy cat won't leave his bed. Wow, they have a whole big pond in their living room. And there's the sad cat in its cat bed under an umbrella. His cats don't like to get wet, do they? The little seedling transforms into a tree bursting with life. Leaves and branches snake through the house, eating up more and more space. Pauline lets the goldfish out of its bowl. They almost have like a rainforest in their house. It's pretty, but does that really belong in the house? Curious, the children from school crowd around the windows of this strange house. Pauline and Louis are surprised when their father opens up the door and invites everyone in. The children can't believe their eyes. They have never seen anything like this. The table has become an island, the staircase a dock, and the cat's bed a canoe. Together they explore this unlikely new playground. The kids at school are loving it. They're climbing the trees, they're rowing in the cat bed across the pond. One is swimming with the goldfish. Suddenly, there's a cracking sound. The branches pierce through the walls and the roof, reaching all the way up to the sky. And then the sunlight floods into the house and the rain stops. Pauline and Louis take off their raincoats and break into smiles. The rain has stopped. And that's the end of the day the rain moved in. So a bit messy, but it looks like they made a lot of new friends with their crazy house with all the rain. <laughs> well, before we jump into our third and last story, let's take a quick break and learn how to sign rain, umbrella, and some other words in American Sign Language. Hey everyone! Before we get to our last story of the day, let's take a moment to stop and learn some signs in American Sign Language. The first sign we're going to learn today is for rain, and it goes like this. We start off by taking both of our hands and holding them sort of flat up in the air off to the side of our body. Then we're going to bring our hands down sort of diagonally and pause a few different times on the way down, and that's to mimic the rain falling. That's rain. Rain. The next sign we're going to learn today is for umbrella. 
and we're going to mimic opening an umbrella. We start off by taking both of our hands and holding them in fists like this, one on top of the other, and then moving the top one up like we're opening an umbrella. That's umbrella. Umbrella. Our final sign for the day is for rainbow. Because lots of times when it's done raining, you'll see a beautiful rainbow across the sky. It goes like this. Start off by holding up one of your hands in the air like this, with your fingers somewhat spread apart. Then take your other hand and hold it upside down and kind of interlock your fingers like this. And then move your top hand up in a big arc like a rainbow arcing across the sky, and your fingers are the different colors in the rainbow. That's rainbow. Rainbow. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to sign rain, umbrella, and rainbow in American Sign Language. Now let's get to our last story of the day. Have you ever noticed that when it rains, you see more worms on the ground than usual? Well, that's because when it rains, the ground fills with water, and so the worms come up to the top on the ground to wriggle around and to breathe. Well, that's what our last book is about. It's called Worm Weather. Drip, drop, skip, and hop. Splish, splash, sidewalk, dash. It's starting to rain. Worm, worm, wiggle, squirm. Worm weather. Coat, hat. Rain goes splat. Boots jump. Old tree stump. Big stomp. She's splashing in a puddle just like the little boy in our first book. Puddle Swamp. Mud, stop! Belly Flop, oh no. He's gonna be pretty full of mud if he jumps in there. Almost, oh, his mom caught him before he could jump in. Dark Cloud, very loud. What happens sometimes when it rains? Bright flash. Lightning. Thunder crash. Ooh, that can sound scary sometimes, can't it? Quick race. Pizza place. Oh, they're going inside to get out of the rain. Drip dry. Pizza pie. Pizza makes almost everything better, doesn't it? Sun pops, drizzle stops. Looks like the sky is clearing up. Maybe it's getting a little bit more sunny. The clouds are going away. Birds fly, rainbow sky. Ooh, that's the best part of after it rains, isn't it? Seeing a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Run, sing, playground, swing. The playground looks a little damp. There's some water streaming down the slide, but they're still having fun. Worm, worm, wiggle, squirm. It's worm weather. And that is our last story for the day. Thank you so much for joining us for all of our rainy day stories. And hopefully the next time you have a rainy day, you stay in and read, or maybe you'll be allowed to go outside and have some messy fun. But either way, rainy days don't have to be bad days. They can be fun too. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>